when physicians work in a patient-centered, team-based collaborative model, when measurement is being done around quality and value delivery as outcomes, then the way we tell the world how well we're doing in our efforts with the patient really falls into three categories, three outcomes categories. The most obvious one is when we take care of people, we want to get great results with how they do with their condition, their disease, their complaint, the, the so-called disease outcome. That's obviously the biggest and most important. The second big category, how are we doing with the process of care? Are we improving that all the time? Are we hitting quality metrics in what we should be doing in the process of caring for a patient with a particular condition, particularly chronic condition? The third big piece, the third big category is patient experience scores, what we used to call patient satisfaction. And now we have relabeled this patient experience, not just because it's a new uh, lingo or, you know, a new way to refer to it, but because the, the literal meaning of the difference between patient experience and patient satisfaction is how have we taken the scientific evidence, made better diagnostic and therapeutic choices, how does the patient like the process of care that they are getting, the physical and emotional feeling they get from the care they get, and then how does that connect to and translate to better outcomes for the patient? That link between the satisfaction they have with the care process, physical and emotional, and how they do with their disease condition, that's the key link that we talk about with patient experience. All rolled into that at the fundamental, um, at the cornerstone foundation of that is evidence-based decision-making. The science behind what works, why it works, proof it works, and making better diagnostic and therapeutic choices.